Air Account Manager for uh, North Central Co-op out of the Cass County area. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit today about seedling blight. This is a soil-borne fungi that's caused by Pythium, uh, Fusarium, or uh, Rhizoctonia. This is a water-borne fungi that develops from Omicete. This uh, fungus can be uh, a pre-emergence, which basically means the seed germinates and is killed before it emerges out of the ground. The uh, effects of it is the coleoptile and the radical roots are killed uh, at germination. This also can affect it post-emergence. So basically your seed germinates, comes up, emerges out of the ground, and then it destroys the mesocotyl between the seed and the main plant and also will destroy the seminal roots at the same time. Things that you're looking for when you start digging up plants, you're looking for a white mold or a mold on the seed itself. You want to look at the mesocotyl to see if it's uh, brown or scolland. Also look at the roots that might also be present and you want to see if they're uh, brown or slimy at that time. What we have here is a uh, look at three different plants. Uh, one plant that is severely infected and has already died. The center plant will be mildly affected and is showing the effects of seedling blight and probably will not produce anything and make anything of itself. The third plant shows uh, no effects of seedling blight, but I wanted to just show you the three different plant heights. These were planted around about April 22nd, and you can see how different the plant heights are at this point. This fungus is a water mold that overwinters on plant material, organic matter during the winter, usually is not affected by weather conditions. So things that favor this fungus to appear and this disease to appear are cold, wet conditions, soil temperatures below 55. Anytime you might have a crusting issue, uh, if there's any soil injury that might happen or any mechanical in injury that might happen while you're planting. In summary, we always wanna make sure that we have a, a good seedling bed. We wanna make sure that we uh, pick days that we know the soil temperature is going to be above 55 and stay above 55 degrees soil temperature. We always want to use a good quality seed. Uh, make sure we use a quality fungicide on that seed. Avoid planting in wet soils and try to avoid compaction if you can.